All right, hello everybody. I'm Alexis Beckett, and today we are going to stop the clock with our graduate linebacker, Isaiah Grimm. Mowgli, how are you today? Good. How are you doing? Thanks for having me. I'm good. Thank you for being here on the first episode. I'm super excited. We're going to talk. We're going to play games. First, I want to talk about a little bit of the work that we're doing, you know, because we got to work before we can play. So last year, you were awarded a single digit number eight, correct? Um, you know, for anybody who doesn't know, getting a single digit for Temple football is a big deal. You know, you guys I look to be as the leaders, you know, the toughest guys, the, you know, role models for the team. Um, what are some things that you were doing during quarantine to, you know, stay football ready um, and make sure you were being a good role model to those younger guys on the team? Yeah, for sure. So myself, I was coming off of an injury, actually. So I broke my ankle back in October. Right. Uh, so I was right in the middle of rehab when COVID hit. Uh, so it was like, it was crazy. So I was like, just learning how to walk again and really just going through my rehabilitation. So that like kind of messed everything up. So I had to like, be really hard on myself to stay consistent and continue to work so whenever I was doing something I would just try to put my phone down and record a little bit of it and send it to our little group meet that we have for the whole team and uh, just try to keep guys motivated just to show like even even me coming off an injury I'm still trying to work I'm still trying to get better each day uh, so I try to just like send in different motivational quotes to just keep guys going and understand that they're not alone like like people think that you know they kind of Part down on themselves and think that they're alone throughout this entire process. But at the same time, we're all going through this together. We're all going through the same thing. The world is all, we're all in the same shape. So uh, just letting guys know that they're not alone. We're all in this together. And, you know, we're going we're gonna to make the best of it and try to be as successful as possible. All right. So, Football is clearly one thing that you can't, you couldn't imagine your life without, you know, whether that be watching it, playing it, whatever the case may be. So we're going to play a game. It's called Top Five. Top Five, you get a category and then you give me your top five. Yours today is going to be, you're stranded on an island. What are five things that you think you would need, not necessity wise, but you know, to have a good time on your island? Okay. Um... There's nothing on my island to start with. I have There's absolutely nothing, nothing. Just you and your food and your water, unless you have any special things that you need. All right, so I'm gonna need work that night, so I need my fire starter. Right. So I'm gonna I'm cool with that. Give me a, a brand new puppy so I can raise him and I got some, I got a companion. Okay, That's I like that, I like that. To chill with me. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring my Nintendo Switch because you don't need a TV. It's portable. I got, I got YouTube, I got Hulu. I got games on there. That's all the essentials. Let me get a toaster oven so I can, you know, whatever I hunt down there, I can, I can cook real quick. Okay, real quick. We need something easy. <laughs> and but don't uh, you already have the fire starter. Yeah, the fire is just for just for warmth though. It's just okay. You know, okay, I'm just making sure. The ambiance. I want you to pick wisely for your island. <laughs> See, I haven't thought about this a lot. I, I need to find something that I sit down and think about. <laughs> so I got my switch. So then I'm gonna I'm gonna put a I'm gonna get a a big speaker so I can listen to all my music and then whoever's closest to me can know that I'm there. <laughs> there you go. Who are you playing on your speaker? Uh, Travis, of course. Travis. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! One thing I want to talk about, because you know, I think it's so important, is about the things that you do outside of football. You know, to better your community. So, could you just talk about? you know, some of the things that you're doing outside, you know, to represent Temple Well, to represent, you know, Isaiah Grant Mobley Well. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I try to do as much as I can to possibly positively impact people in, in different ways. Uh, together, the athletes here and I have made an hour for justice group. Um, and the whole point of it is to, you know, express equality and peace and love 
and understand that, you know, like I said before, we're all in this together and it, it's not, it's, 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 we're not in a we're not in a place where we should be tearing each other down and tearing each other apart. We should be in a place where you know we come together more than ever. We put this group together to to get people to understand that, like I said, you're not alone. There's different things in this world that you know aren't going to go our way, but we're just going to keep fighting and, and, and until we until we get it. And it's gonna it's gonna be a fight through peace. It's not going to be a fight through through physicality. It's gonna be it's gonna be fight through social media, a fight through a fight through words, a fight through education. You know, uh, we're just gonna use all of our tools and that we're learning throughout college and in, in life through our 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 leaders and you know the different people that we look up to 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 express this this you know worldwide love that we're trying to to it um to show off so we're taking steps each day to try to get people to join and and continue this fight that we're on um it's only the beginning at this point it's going to take nothing but but time and um you know in our world everything is a uh, it has to be done right then and there but i feel this is you know a, a five ten year twenty year long process and it's going to we have to just pass it down to the next generation and keep it moving, you know? Absolutely, and I think it's so important that you stress the fact that, you know, this isn't an easy thing and it's not gonna happen overnight. And I think that it's a, a great thing that you guys are doing because you guys know that a lot of people look up to you and, you know, say, if, if they're doing it, I can do it too, you know? If, if they believe in it, I should believe in it too. So I think what you guys are doing are, is great. And I think you should absolutely keep it up um, thank you so much for being here, you know, letting us know who Isaiah Graham Mobley is, when that clock runs out, when that buzzer rings. So just thank you for coming on. Of course, thanks for having me.